Okay, so we got one coat on the record player here. Uh, we got a blue. And as I'm playing with it, um, I got I got my uh, disc brakes back from the powder coater. They're black. Um, and I got a... Uh, my record, my uh, platter on another. This is a billet aluminum uh, platter for my 1954 Audax uh, arm. And I did some basic uh, cuttings of plywood for them to sit on to like understand some sizing and I don't I don't actually think this is correct I'm gonna have to do some more work uh, as far as sizing goes um and this is the table i made uh i made a plywood base for my turntable to sit on and i'll bolt that all together for this to sit on top of but one of the things I'm realizing, one of the things I'm realizing uh, is that I'm not really pleased. A bunch of my, uh, a bunch of my work is with this baby blue color and uh, the speakers are in baby blue. Hello, Mr. Helicopter. Anyways, Mr. Helicopter is flying by my darkish blue. I really like this blue. I painted my door blue. Uh, I really like this blue, but I don't think that this blue matches my other blues. I painted my walls blue. I painted my ceiling blue. And I got my cabinets blue and my, and my little chest blue. Anyways, uh, so this blue here and my speakers blue and my, my situation blue, I'm trying to do this French thing. And I thought this blue, because I saw a picture of French uh, bedrooms and they have sometimes multi blues, I thought, uh, yeah, change up your blues but this blue and this arm this arm this audax arm it made me uh make my motor motor base my motor base disc arm and my uh turn my platter base i powder coated them black and now I'm looking at the whole thing and I'm like, I don't know that I like the um, the black and the blue. This blue, because there's gonna be white sand. There's gonna be white sand in the middle here. Um, and these things are gonna float. They're gonna do a denim. Uh, Denon 103 um, stereo needle in this one and um, it'll be good this is a 1954 uh, arm and this is a reco cut 1954 platter and I'll be using a 1954 um, motor to drive the platter and it'll all be floating on a white sand thing but this outside 
I ended up going to buy some black. Oh, no, no, no. I, I was going to do black. And before I put it down, I might change it to black. But right now I've got a navy blue because I'm really trying to stay in the blues. So the concept that uh, this French bedroom blue thing, I'm building a blue lamp and all this blue uh, speaker cabinets and media storage and blue, 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 blue. I'm trying to do this blue thing with gold because I have gold, but gold is like a, an eyeliner and I, I have quite a bit of eyeliner. So I have a beautiful golden frame mirror and a bunch of gold other elements. Um, although I'm trying to like solidify my gold, my blue, my blue elements and the blue um, I don't think it should be all the same blue. I think that uh, they should be different blues because my mind sees various blues and uh, I go, oh, I'm intrigued. When it's all one blue, I understand it to be like a... Uh, like a like a sky you don't think much of a sky but when you see multi blues your mind keeps working and you keep thinking what's that what's that what's that what's that what's that what's that so i think i kind of like the multi blues so i was trying with this blue but this blue doesn't feel right up against white sand and then these various black pieces so i bought first a white enamel to go over this and i have a white enamel and then i have a royal blue enamel and i'm gonna try maybe a 50 50 equation maybe i'm gonna like paint them halfway and try and see do I like the white? Do I like the blue? Which shade of blue? And then does it need to just go straight to black? Because I'm thinking maybe black is the key. So black works with, you know, black works with this disc brake that I powder coated black. I could then, I can either choose to get this disc polished to match the, the aluminum base of the arm. I can choose to like just stay um, with the black and silver. I could go with just polishing it. Not really sure what I'm gonna do. Um, This is all part of being an artist. You just gotta try and try and try again and buy a bunch of stuff and think about it and think about it and go, what's gonna look coolest at the end? And that's how you end up with an equation that looks effortless. Like, wow, that's all perfect. Like nobody had to think about it it just went pure when it just like goes pure then you understand you got it right and then you don't have to think about it and you think wow whatever i did went right and i don't have to further think about it so that's what i'm doing that's today's game uh I did make the effort to make it blue and it didn't look right to me. I played it against my other blues, they don't look right. And the blacks don't look right. So I'm gonna just leave it at that and just try and go darker. Peace creators.